Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use blog stomp so that you can use this to start blogging faster. Literally, you can have your entire wedding collaged in a matter of minutes. It's amazing. So this is the inside of blog stomp 3. I think there might be a more up-to-date version. But anyway, we're going to go over here and import our photos. So I'm going to just go to a wedding that I shot that I used for the other video. So we're going to go to Laura's favorites. These are all the ones that we labeled three star and green. So those were the ones that we labeled for the blog. So I'm going to select all and hit enter. So they start importing and you'll see they are importing here on the side super quickly. And I'm just going to wait for that to finish. But while that's going, I think I can change my settings and we're going to go up here to the settings tab and go to output and then i'm going to pick the folder that i want it to go into so we're going to hit browse and i want these to go into the client folder here laura and tyler wedding and then into the blog folder and then you'll see here it's automatically going to create a folder called stomped and that's going to be where all the collaged images are going to go so then we are going to name the file and I want this to be the venue name so that I show up in SEO searches. So we're gonna call this Ernest Hemingway House Wedding dash Key West Wedding Photographer dash Laura Lee Photography. Okay, awesome. And then we're gonna change the sequence number to the one. Okay, perfect. So now you'll see all of the images all in here ready to be stomped and you're going to want to do create consistency throughout your blog so i like to do one horizontal or two vertical images next to each other and you don't want them to be super similar because you want them to each stand out from another so example i would never put this ring shot with or let's see i would never put this picture with this picture because it's almost the exact same thing. So I would rather put these two pictures together. So now you really get to see and appreciate that bouquet and you get to see how beautiful Laura is. So we're just going to go in and start at the beginning. And if you got to the step in the playbook where you're going to make a quick collection in Lightroom, you can actually sort in Lightroom how you want the images to lay out so that you don't have to like scroll up and down in here. But I did not do that. So we are just going to hit stomp it if this is the image that we want to be first. So to hit stomp it, you can just go to this orange button down here, or even easier, you can hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter. And now these are magically going to that blog stomped folder. So then after my horizontal image, I'm going to want to do a vertical and a vertical. Those two are super different, so that's awesome. And then since I just had a green ring shot, I don't want another one right away, so I'm going to choose this white ring shot. And then maybe another shoe shot. And then maybe we'll do a bouquet shot with these dresses. And if you want to mix it up, you can hit this button down here and it'll just swap them out. Or you can go one on top of another. I would not recommend that because it's really hard to see them full screen on a laptop. So I would do two verticals side by side. Or if you have Blog Stomp 3, you can double click and drag to switch. So I'm going to do that. And again, whoops, there we go. Okay, and then we're going to hit stomp it. And then you're just going to go through and you are going to do that for the entire gallery. And you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go through all of these. And that'll make it go a lot faster. And you'll see like, I didn't use these four, that's totally fine. Um, might wanna use that one, but these are kind of repetitive, but I like to cull a little bit extra so that I can come in and I have a choice between vertical or horizontal, depending on how the rest of the blog is laying out. So same thing, I want to do kind of a far away one and then a closer up one. Those are both kind of busy. The tree was really a busy place to shoot. So maybe I would do something like that. And then I would do a horizontal image to break up the verticals while they're being laid out in the blog. I think it gets kind of congested when I have all my verticals in a row. So I try to do two verticals and then a horizontal and then two verticals and then a horizontal. So just kind of breaks it up for the viewer. And then 
after that. So again, I kind of exported these out of order, but you get the idea. So that was the first look, and then I would just go through and do this for the rest. So these are the bridesmaids, so I'd go through and pair something like that, so you can really appreciate the bouquet here and all the girls over here. Instead of doing like that and this, you kind of, they're kind of the same thing. So, or, you know, the same distance away, so it's harder to appreciate each photo individually. So we're just going to do that. And then we're going to do another horizontal. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous wedding in Key West. I'm so thankful that they flew me down to shoot it. And awesome. So that is just a quick tutorial on block stump. I hope that is helpful. And hopefully that means you'll get out of Photoshop or InDesign for all your blog blogging needs. And it's awesome. As of the recording of this video, it's only fi uh, $50 for two computers, possibly three computers. So really, really awesome investment. You'll get to blog in no time. And I only showed you guys how to actually stomp the pictures. You can actually write your blog in here too and sync it to WordPress, Tumblr, Blogger, LiveJournal, Expression Engine. I've actually never heard of any of these bottom two, but um, you can sync it to your WordPress so that it automatically posts. But I like to schedule everything in WordPress so I can use CoSchedule and create my blogging calendar and all of that. So this was just a super simple tutorial. Blogstomp also has video tutorials if you have more questions on it. It has a lot more capabilities than just this, so I would definitely go check it out. And the other thing is, one quick note, you can basically do as many images as you want in a collage. I mean, I wouldn't do that for a blog, per se, but if you are if you want to post on Facebook that you have a preview or you're trying to do a mood board, this is a really, really awesome program to make mood boards in. So you can select all these photos, and then I can do that. So, and then, if I hit the spacebar, I can mix it up, and they'll all just kind of rotate. And then I can click, like I did before, and switch. So now those two switched. So that's it. That is your blog stomp tutorial, and I hope you start using this for blogging if you don't already, and I hope it's super helpful for you.